Hello everyone and welcome back to Song for Hobbies Music Lessons. Anyway, this is a new episode of reading symbols and their meanings. If you want to succeed in music or have a career in music, you have to learn how to read all this stuff. So let's get started. Here is a, these, these numbers are called time signatures and meaning. This is my cheat sheet. I found mine off of Pinterest, or you can take a picture off of my video and keep it in your notes if you like. This one, the top number, four beats per bar. For the bottom number, one quarter note gets one beat. As you know, a quarter note is one count. So this bottom number is very important. It will always say a four. Four, two, or eight, or sixteen, and we'll just stick to these basics right here. So this four it symbolizes a quarter note. Remember, a quarter note gets one count. My pen don't want to work tonight. It's okay. And here's three. This means three beats per bar. You count one, two, three, but you play it at a quarter note speed. So a quarter note gets one beat. So you count three notes into each bar, measure or bar. There is a two, two. This is half time. This is, can be also... Sorry about that. Um, this can be also known as a half half time. That's what it's called. So anyway, this had two beats, two beats per bar, and here's the two. So a half note. This case would get one beat. Here we said a quarter note will get one beat. If it's a four, remember you're counting in half. It's like a circle, but you're counting in half. So a half, half will equal a, a whole. This is your half. Here's your whole. That makes any sense. Just don't overthink it. So a half note, in this case, represents this two, and it gets one B. Here is six eight time, which we use a lot to double our our values. So in this case, six would be six beats per bar, and the eighth note will get one beat. So in this case, this eight will represent a regular eighth note. That's your eighth note, and it'll get one beat in this case. Just count it as one. Turn three sixteen three beats. Per bar, a sixteenth note, a one beat here. So this eight, here's what it looks like in the quarter note. This is an eighth note. Here's your quarter note right here. Quarter note, one beat, one beat. Half note represents a two. So that makes sense. Like they say, here's your half, here's your whole. And the eighth note, this is what it looks like. An eighth note gets one beat. This is the rule for music. Let's review it one more time. Four, four time is very popular. Three, four time, these are all very popular notes. The top number, four beats. Bottom note, the quarter note gets one beat. Four represents this quarter. The quarter represents this four. In other words, to translate this into a music note, such as this, to read the lines, you have four lines, five lines, four spaces. When they say a bar, they mean this, this guy, this bar. So you have notes here, notes here, and a bar here. Here's your bar. It separates the notes. You have space, you have lines. 
So the, that quarter note would be right here. We'll draw that quarter note. It'd be like that, or a half a note. We'll draw it like that, though. But anyway, the top note gets four beats. Bottom note, quarter note gets one beat. Three beats, quarter note gets one beat. Half common time. That's what they call it. It's another name for it. Common time. You get two beats per bar. Half note gets one beat. So this two will represent this half note. And the half notes in this case, you can cut it in half to make a whole note and get one beat. Six eight times, six beats per bar. Eighth note. This eighth note row get one beat. It's just a rule in music of how we count it. And when you translate it, it makes sense for here. This is your quarter note. Then you put your time signature. Let's say 4-4. Four, four, and then you added your values to the rest of the notes to equal this 4. So this is your bar. Here's your note. Here's your bar. Here's your note. And he separates the measure. These are called measures on the inside. So in this case, we're reviewing time signature meanings and cheat sheet. And there you have it. I hope this video was helpful, and if you don't understand, you may download it and keep it for your records, and I hope it will help you understand the music and meaning. Thank you all so much for watching. Thank you, everybody. Thank you so much for following and liking and subscribing. Give me a good thumbs up. I did a good job, and uh, see you all in the next video. Bye, everybody.